This is the Geneva Shore Report coming to you from the Nietzsche Coffee Shop, which is 5.5 miles to the west of the border of the city of Lake Geneva, right up Highway 50, and it is probably the neatest coffee shop you ever want to come into and see. Everything has been done right, perfect, including the employees. And here's one of them, right here, and you are? I'm Deb. Hi, Deb, how are you? Good. Good. And you guys are having entertainment almost every night lately. Well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, and here I look at the, it says, uh, Zach Ott is on tonight. And so that starts at what? Uh, um, he's here one to three. One to three. So it's this afternoon. Yes. How cool. So it's a good place to stop in. And what great weather for sitting outside enjoying the patio and some coffee or wine while you're listening to the music. You can't forget that. Fabulous coffee here. At yeah. Probably my favorite. Yes, it's very good. Cool. It is. Well, Deb, thank you. We're going to go out front and okay. take a look at the nice wonderful you. fields out here. This, as you walk through the door, is the niche. And one of the neat things about it is this outdoors. It Look over here. Nice. You're just sitting here with these huge fields and trees in the distance. The road is far enough away, so it's not real loud. Uh, you've the got patio the patio here. They've got more umbrellas coming, although the sun will be disappearing one of these days soon. And over there, you've got shade uh, also with, with tables. Anyway, we are here on... It is Sunday morning, August 30th, 2020. I'm Jen Lepkowski. And George Belushi Jr. And the Geneva Shore Report. Good morning. And they have the perfect little spot here for when they have their That's for the entertainer seats. Right. Cool. So, yes, we're here for the morning news report. And, of course, live music here this afternoon. That is in the news. And happy birthday to Lisa. I hope she has yes. a great day today. Lisa Otto, our other reporter. Yes, and she has a day off on her birthday how fabulous is that i hope she enjoys it and we have maxwell street days downtown lake geneva last day still great sales out there in great weather to be walking around enjoying downtown and do some shopping check out the sales and then maybe grab a bite to eat afterwards lots of outdoor seating available at the restaurants and with this weather i mean it's great to sit outside and enjoy a meal and then we also have, I want to mention, the police department has a blood drive this Thursday from 1.30 to 5.30. And you can call them to make your reservation. It is limited with COVID and their, you know, social distancing, wearing the mask, making sure everyone's safe and protected. But we do have a big shortage on blood right now. So if you're able to donate, they would really, really appreciate that. And we have new movies at Imagine that came out this weekend. We have Writing on the Bathroom Walls and The Personal History of David Copperfield. It sounds actually really interesting. So make sure you check those out. They opened just a couple weeks ago, actually. So lots of new movies coming in and out, something new to do. And then we have meetings coming up. Tuesday, we have Finance, Licensing, and Regulation. It's a pretty small agenda, so it's a lot of maintenance, but they will be discussing the room tax dollars, possibly increasing that to help with some of the lost revenue, especially the Tourism Commission, who has a lot of grants that are out there they, they want to be able to fulfill, but not sure if they will have enough funds to do that. So this is one option to kind of catch up. And then Wednesday morning, 8 a.m., bid meeting, one of my favorites over at Harbor Shores. Always lots of good updates. And this will be the first meeting for Speedo, the newest member of the committee. I'm very excited to see what he has to say and what he brings to the table. He always has a lot of good ideas about stuff to bring into downtown Lake Geneva. So that will be fun. And we'll get a new president also because Tessa, the previous president, has left the bid, so we will find out who will be replacing her. The bid board. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, which is, I mean, she was a great asset to the bid, so we'll see what happens. And what's, so. when's this bid tax issue coming up? That's not bid, is it? No. no That's what? That is on finance, licensing, and regulation. And so how can they increase the bid tax rate when these hotels have just staggered through yes. six months of their worst? That's what I'm wondering, too. I mean... The Fairfield Inn had, like, nobody there no, for, like, four months. It was extremely quiet over there. I mean, you were lucky if you saw maybe five cars in the parking lot. Yeah. And things have 
just started picking up. I mean, it's yeah. sad. So, so they take another hit. That's just it. So I'm curious what they're going to have to say and if anyone's really going to be for doing that or not. But we'll see. Time will tell. And we'll see what they decide. But they can't really afford to lose anything else. So... And the Ridge just had a wedding this weekend too, and that was one of the first weddings they've had this season. Mm -hmm. So things are starting to pick up, but they're not quite there yet. So I think that wraps it up, and we will be back this afternoon with more weather, road, and news. I'm Jen Lepkowski. And George Belushi Jr. And the Geneva Shore Report. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.